Hello and welcome to Craftoon. I'm Miss Mary and I'm here at my home. And thank you so much for joining me. So let's get started. Today we're going to be, I will show you, we're going to be painting rocks. Um, and right now this is unfinished. Hopefully you can guess what it is. I'll walk you through it. Um, the first thing you want to do is you need some um, acrylic paint. It works best. If you have poster paint, well, that's okay too. It's just going to take lots of, co um, lots of coats. So this is poster paint. And you can see, I can definitely tell it's a rock under there. And you can see definitely where the paint has dried a little bit unevenly, but it might work if there's lots of coats. Um, I'll show you this. This is something else I've been working on. This one has one coat of red acrylic paint. Um, I'm gonna give it one more coat because I can still see um, it's a bit splotchy and maybe I can make it look a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and show you what that's like. I have a couple things going on. I have a red paintbrush and of course I have my paint. I have the Q-tips, that's gonna be for my next color. This has been sitting out a little bit. It's a little bit dry. But as you can see, the second coat is really going on nicely. It looking, it's looking really, really smooth. Um, I'll try to be careful as I'm painting, not to get the paint on myself. And if I just take really broad strokes, it should cover the rock kind of from point to point or end to end. And I'll just go back and forth like that. And I'll slide it over so that I can get this side as well. Okay, that is looking really great. It does think, take a little bit of time with the acrylic paint to dry. So by having this base coat painted, it certainly takes, it definitely takes quite a bit of time, but it's, I think, necessary if you really want that bug-like effect. Okay, so that's the second coat. I think second coat is ideal. Um, if you don't have time for a second coat, that's fine. Um, I'll show you with the green, what that will look like. I'll set this paintbrush aside. I will carefully open this up and just a little bit out. Okay, so this bug is going to be a green bug. It will camouflage nicely with its surroundings. And as you can see, a paintbrush or Q-tip, they both work very well for painting. And you'll notice that as I'm painting, they, it doesn't really paint evenly. You can kind of see the rock underneath and that's okay. That's why that second coat is just really important. Okay, my little green rock is almost painted. I'm gonna put it down to really kind of make some broader strokes and cover up as much as I can. Oh, you might have noticed I have a paper plate underneath. And if you don't have a paper plate, that's fine. A piece of paper should work just as well. However, you may wanna put two down. Now, I have my two. They're not quite ready to go. They need to dry, of course, first. Um, I do have this one. This was the one that actually I used, um, remember? I used this side with the poster paint and this was with the acrylic. This rock is different than the other. It's not very smooth and you'll notice that you can see through. And what I've done actually, this isn't paint, this is a Sharpie. And I've used a Sharpie, right, as if it was paint. Okay. I think what would be nice is, since I'm creating a ladybug, I need to make some spots. And it's really easy to make those spots with the Sharpie. If you want to use um, paint, please do, that's just fine. And I am gonna make some spots over here on this side. And I'm noticing it, my paint may not have dried all the way. So I'll just do my best. And then I've got something a little more symmetrical over here, like that. And I'll make another spot over here. 
And one up here would be great. I remember once again, this rock is not very smooth. So there's lots of ridges. It makes it really tricky. And I think I'm looking, I think it looks great. Um, but I need something, of course, I need the antenna. And to make the antenna, I'm just gonna make a little kind of round arc on each side. And there's my roundish arc on that side. And if you wanna make like a little dot at the end, you can certainly do that as well. And I notice that I have no eyes. So my favorite craft supply, as you can see, is the googly eye. And I have my glue. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue. Whoops, on the googly eye. And I will slide it carefully on the rock. And it needs one more, just like that. And now when it goes down side by side, you can see I